what is up you guys happy sunday y'all i'm doing too much today I'm trying to prep dinner and trying to see if i can make myself a 10 second intro for winter so i'm getting ready to go out now that's why i got this hat on and uh miss bella is going with me hopefully we'll get 10 seconds of something so that i don't have to start my first vlog which when you guys see it this will be my second vlog but I don't want to have to start it without an intro. Y'all, I hate this time of the year. I really do. When it's time to do intros, especially back-to-back -back after Vlogmas and you done did your little Christmas intro, now you got to do your winter intro. Then you got to leave the winter intro and do the spring, summer. Oh, my goodness, y'all. If you ain't ready, I'm telling you. Whew. It can be nerve-wracking. But, like I said, this is just spur of the moment. I just woke up and was like, if I'm going to do it, I better go ahead and do it. So, that's what I'm going to do. Try to hurry up and get back here so I can finish making dinner because I... And I did see Amazon please, but I'm like, where did this man leave my package at? Because I do not see it. So hold on, let me see. But I can crazy now. So when I'm doing hair, I don't get hair all over me, product all over me. So here's my wig caps. Can I have my moment please, Nene? And then I got this um this jacket and I'm gonna actually send it to Britt. I'm gonna send her an email today and get it in the mail. get off work because I think the post office closed at five get it mailed but I gotta go to Walmart and get a package to deliver it in but yeah I want her to design the back of it for me like my sleigh edges shirt and like I said that way I don't have to keep getting product all over me my clothes and hair and stuff Somebody told me to get Miss Nene a harness. I've been, <clears throat> I've been had the harness. She just hasn't really gone anywhere. So we gonna test it out today and make sure she ain't choking. Yes, ma'am. So you gonna torture me for three minutes? It's just three minutes, Nene. That's it. Just three minutes to the park and we done. get the dogs that can't ride. <laughs> Although Charlie could ride. Charlie just used to get he used to get sick and I didn't know what his problem was. So we had him on this diet but the food that they wanted us to give him it only would last like three days and it costs like $25 a bag. So you can imagine spending $25 every three days for some dog food just so your dog wouldn't throw up so we had to do something else i was like yeah we can't afford that that just getting to be too much all right miss me all right miss me, 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 me. <laughs> 
I promise I just thought I was about to have some problems up at this park some crazy looking dude I ain't even gonna say what color he is cuz some people get offended when you start calling colors and it ain't even that serious but anyhow this park that I'm at dogs are not allowed inside the park and I know that so I will respectfully not take Bella inside the park the play area but on the outside of it it doesn't matter so this car comes in and pulls up in front of my car, looks at me, then pulls all the way around, and then circles around my car, looks at my dog, because I left Bella in the car, but I left the window down. Even though it's cold, I didn't necessarily have to leave the window down. And then he pulls over on this side, and he's just like staring at me. And rolled his window down and was like literally staring at me. And so I'm like, okay, this is a little weird. And I'm out here by myself. I don't know what you're trying to do. I'm like, hi. And he's still just sitting there looking at me. So instead of me shooting my last scene, I went on ahead and just grabbed up my camera, walked to my car, because I'm like, if I need to grab something, because God knows I got a bat underneath my seat, if anybody want to try me. So I'm like, let me just get back to the car or whatnot. So then I'm like, no, nah, forget that. I grabbed Bella, took her out the car. And so I shot the scene with her. And then as, you know, me and Bella walking around and playing in the park or whatever, he decided he wanted to leave. But I'm just like, folks need to mind a business that pays them on period point blank. Okay. Because I am not the one to be trying to mess with like that. Like, cause seriously, if I make it to my car, you come off like a threat to me, you gonna get dealt with. I am in my neighborhood, honey. Been living over here for 15 years. Don't even try me, I know my area. But that just irritated my life a little bit. I'm like, I'm trying to shoot my little intro. I already think it's about to be raggedy and he up here bothering me. So, oh my goodness, but yeah, y'all, I thought I was about to have me a little situation. <laughs> and what you still whining for? You done made it through. You made it. You made it. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution to the intro. Thank you, Miss Bella, because you always come through for me. But don't nobody else come through. Nene, you always there. What's up, fam? How y'all doing? Happy Monday. I am in the kitchen right now, you guys. I'm all over the place. Just literally all over the place. But that's how I live my life. Y'all know it. All over the place. So right now I'm in the kitchen. I'm trying to make my chicken and dumplings right now. I got the dumplings made. So they're here. I'm getting ready to throw my vegetables in the water with the seasoning. I got the, the roux part here ready to go. I got my vegetables chopped up and then I'm sneaking or not sneaking but I'm cheating with the carrots I bought the shredded carrots already then you guys I'm taking it to my tree oh my lord I'm so sad to see it go but here's my tree and I still after I took everything off the tree you guys I still cannot find that area where that light bulb is supposed to be like white where you change it i still haven't found it so i'm not for sure you guys what i'm gonna do with this tree a little disappointed because this is just my third christmas with this tree and already i'm dealing with part of the tree blown out so next year i don't know what i'm gonna do i think i just may uh get another tree because i don't already told babe that i want a white christmas tree and i told him i want him to buy it and then my table, everything is ready to go here. I done took everything down. I just got to go downstairs and get the containers to put that stuff in. But I'm going to wait until after I finish my chicken and dumplings. Because when you're making this recipe, you got to be on it. Like right now, I need to have the paper towels wet on top of the dumplings. Because you have to keep those moist until you get ready to throw them into the water. So you cover them with a paper towel. And that's what I need to do right now.
So yeah, but you guys, I've been on the phone with Ford today as well because y'all know I had to order my car because the Escape is a lease. And I said this time I didn't want a lease because I don't want to have to go through all of that all over again. And I'm just, I'm over leasing. So I, at this point I want to buy my car. So I was talking to the dealership guy and me and him, we, we was real cool. When we first, first met y'all, I mean, it just seems like whenever I talk to somebody, we be cool. So, we was catching up. So, I was on the phone with him for an hour, not really talking too much about the car, but talking about the car, of course. But he let me know that, he called me this week if I hadn't called him, but to let me know that the order is placed for the car, they're just waiting for the car. And with the high demand for the type of car that I'm getting, he said they got the four-door Broncos, but the two-door Broncos, they don't really have too many of those. I was going to be getting the 2021 Bronco, and they ended up having to change it to the 2022 Bronco, which means I get the 2022 for the 2021 price, which that's the only good thing about it. But the thing is, I, I just got to talk to babe about it because I don't know at this point if I need to extend my lease out some more or should I just turn the car in? Because at this point, I can just be saving that money toward something else because I put a partial down payment down on my vehicle I want to put more money down so I'm thinking I might just drive my boyfriend's Ford Escape and or what do he got he got a Ford Explorer drive a Ford Explorer until my vehicle comes in and just take my money that I've been using for my car payment and just save it and just make a bigger down payment for the Bronco. So that's something I got to talk to him about when he gets off work tonight. But yeah, right now y'all, let me focus on this cuz the the most important part in the chip, chicken and dumplings for me is the dumplings and I don't want to mess that up. let that sit in the pot and do its thing for a minute while I clean up my nasty kitchen because it's looking like a hot ragged mess and I'm gonna go ahead and get these dishes washed real quick you guys so I'll see y'all in a minute fam what's up fam 
started my day out today with live streaming Tia's husband's funeral. It was such a beautiful service and I did extremely well until they got to the part cause he's a, um, in a fraternity and I don't remember what the name of the fraternity is y'all, but they were calling the frat brothers and as they were calling their names, they were saying boots down. So then they called his fraternity name, which I didn't know what his fraternity name was. They called his name three times and then the, the frat brother, he, he, he started getting choked up. And then that's when I started getting choked up and I said, this is Kent's frat name. They called it three times, he didn't answer. And the fourth time, they called his frat name. Instead of them saying, boots down, they said, boots off, and I lost it. I mean, the tears just started rolling. And I, when people pass away, I tend to have delayed reactions anyways, because it's just so unreal death to me it it has been since I was a child when my grandmother passed away and my mom had told me that my grandma my, my grandma died and it was almost like I instantly went into shock that was my reaction for a long period of time before I was able to cry but it's always like that with me when somebody died I have a delayed reaction and then something just hits me and I lose it. But I seen my best friend go up to that coffin with her sister. And I don't know what Dunk was saying, but she bent down over Kent. And she was saying something, but I, I could tell she was kind of laughing because I know her laugh. She rubbing Tia and, and they up there, you know, giving a final respects to him. And I lost it again. And I just, oh Lord have mercy. It was a beautiful home going service for him. It definitely was. They kept it short and sweet to the point and did what they had to do and it was beautiful. When I die, I'm gonna need them to, to make this short and sweet and beautiful and just lay me to rest. I don't need nothing long and drawn out. Just do a little something, something and, and just put me in the ground. And another thing, they better not be wearing them rest in peace t-shirts because I done already said it. We not doing no rest in peace t-shirts at my funeral when I pass away. Y'all better think of something else. Although I think I am going to plan my funeral, what I want them to wear and what I want this to look like. So that way they'll know and, and don't, don't veer off of that. Stay on what I said we gonna do and just do that. But anyhow, you guys, I, I had to make a few runs today. That's why I'm out in these streets in my car. Who plus I just need to, who woosa, 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 get this off my mind. Oh, I don't wanna be down today, I don't. But yeah, I gotta stop at this hair store and get some thread. Cause Toonie coming back over Saturday when I get off work so I can reinstall her wig again. Cause you know, y'all Tooney thinks she cute. Talk about this, that Miami hair. So she want cousin Shauna to do her hair again. But I told her the next time I do it, I'll sew it down. Cause her head is a little bit bigger than mine. And, and that cap is a small. And it was, it was just right. But I feel like if I sew it down, she could get a couple more days out of it versus, you know, she might have got a week out of it. I got to call her and ask her how much time she got on that wig. But I typically can only do like three days on my wigs and then it's either reinstall it or take it off. And that's where I'm at with this one because I really did throw it on just so I could do my intro real quick. And I'm getting ready to take it off. Plus, Yolova, Yolissa. Yeah, that's the hair company that I'm working with, Yolissa. They just sent me another wig, and I don't know if they sent that wig yesterday or if they sent the wig today, but I never went out of my house yesterday, not even a, to bring my trash can back in until this morning. But the wig was pushed in between my, my steps where the rails are, and 
I just so happened to see it. It was actually blending in with the dang on uh, siding of the house. But I don't know if it came yesterday, but I gotta do that wig review this week. But this year, y'all, I'm gonna try not to overdo it. Cause my little behind, stay busy. But I'm gonna try not to overwork myself. Let me get in here real quick, y'all. And then I gotta run up to this cable company. But if the cable company, if they busy, they won't see me. But I need a new remote because my remote to my TV, it's not working and I didn't change the battery. So it's time for me a new remote. Okay, it looks, it looks like my mask about to fall off. Y'all, I ain't going up in Spectrum today. They up in there sitting 10 deep up in there and they slow as molasses. I know they record. Cheek Cheek said he got a remote at home and I'm going to use that one. I'm not thinking about them today. No ma'am. Not me. Not today. I ain't got that type of time. I got too much stuff to do at home and an hour of my time wasted up here. Mm -mm. We ain't about to do it baby. I should have just came up here when they opened up at 9 or 10 o'clock this morning, but I was just too tired. But such is life. I don't need to watch no TV, no way. Well, you guys, all my Christmas decorations are all put away and I'm back to the same old boring living room. But that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. I'm gonna see y'all on another boring video real soon. Bye fam.